Well, me and Danielle's out here on Lake Darbon today. We're gonna try these noodles out. Um, we just up in a shallow end of one of the creeks, about four or five foot deep right here. So we talked about these um, ones we made being able to, to set them to a certain depth. So we're gonna set these a couple feet and toss them out, see what they are gonna do. So we, we made these, we, we got our video on making these, that they're adjustable. So I just pulled all that slack up on this end right there. So we got it set to about probably three foot there. We'll see how that works. And all this slack I'm just going to roll up on this end. Like that right there, kind of pull it down tight. And then that styrofoam should keep it tucked underneath. I'll just tuck that line right underneath it like that. I'm going to bake these with the Bar S Red Franks. I've been told that works. So we're going to try them out and see. See if we can catch some channel cats in here. Got our circle hooks right there. We're gonna try two different ways with these. We got some that are weighted and some that are non-weighted. This one's non-weighted. See which ones we like it best before we change them all one way or the other. I'll give an honest opinion on that when we start catching some fish on these things. Same thing, I'm just tucking that line right under there. Got this one set about three and a half foot deep probably. One of our hot dogs on there. We got a little bit of wind today, so these things are probably going. We'll probably have a line of them going down through here in a little bit. that weight in there you just gotta kind of work it to one end put out eight or ten of these see if we get any bites up in here All right, we got our first one hooked up. Good Danielle up here. She's up there on the trailer motor. I'm running down. Got her gonna get this one. There he is, get him. There you go. Bring him on over here. We we'll eat him for lunch. Got one. Look here. Hey, look. Yeah, I got another one. Alright, we got our second one on right here. I think he's very big because he ain't keeping that bull down. Which is... She finna go get him. She trying to figure out how to work the trailer motor and everything at one time. I'll get that fish. Got him there. Mud cat. Old mud cat. Get rid of him. At least I know the noodles work.
whole fry. We know one thing for sure, if it'll catch one that big, it'll definitely, they'll definitely make a hook set. Captain of the boat up here. She can't hear. She's having ear problems. She can catch fish. She said. Got like three fish on right now. Looks like trying to run one down over here. We got one running away. Yeah, get him. Come on over here with him. Got him, didn't you? Yep. Catfish on noodles. Channel cats. That's, that's where it comes in to have these adjustable. Right there. One a little bit deeper, we may not be getting bite shallow. Not big ones, but they'll hold fry. scattered out we're gonna bring them back in and, and throw them all out one more time see if we catch a few more we went like six or seven foot with some and i don't think we caught a fish on any that deep so three is probably three to five foot down two to five foot down is where we caught everything so we're gonna get them all set about like that I'm gonna say this, uh, we had some without weights and some with weights. The only added benefit I see to the ones with weights, to me, I don't really care about the noodles standing up because some of them didn't stand up from the strike and they still didn't have bait on them. So that really didn't pan out too good. Um, but the wind don't blow those as bad. But I really honestly like the non-weighted ones because you can just chunk them out there and get them away from the boat. Even honest opinions, honest reviews on this stuff. That's my thoughts on it. So, future, it's just more trouble than it's really worth to me. I'll probably make them without the without the weights on. Them. I'm having to bump them to get that slide weight loose, and then throw it in. Non-weighted one. Chunk it out there. There goes another one. Too long, just like 
Got these mud cat, that one right there is gonna be perfect for a limb line or ditty pole. We're thinking about going next weekend. Might hang on to him. Good thing about these bar s franks using these for catfish bait y'all see right there no msg and gluten free so they're pretty healthy for them catfish and if you get hungry just eat one of them oh we got fish already look they like them gluten free gluten free franks Cats got to be like 11 inches, but you can keep some undersized ones. But he's just too small. We're gonna let him grow. So we actually do catch and release, <laughs> just in case people think we keep everything. Circle hooks to get them. Had some question whether or not these noodles were big enough to set a hook. That went almost through his skull right there with that circle hook. So no doubt it'll set a hook. We just made a quick trip just to try the noodles out. That was the first time we fished them after we built them. We had 19 noodles. Um, we mainly only fished 10 or 15 at a time. There at the last, we threw the other four out. But we ended up catching 10 little channel cats. These are just the right eating size for some whole fryers. Um, so we're going to have some for lunch. And I'll show y'all real quick. We do a lot of the skinning and stuff in our videos but i'll show y'all real quick on these how we're gonna skin them 
have had a couple people ask me how we do these whole fryers or what we do with them. So we just grab that bone right there, break it, pull it down, pull the skin off, get rid of this lower fin right there, grab that skin right there and pull it up on both sides like that. For a catfish skinners, pinch that bone right there in two and just slide them skinners right in there under that and kind of grab and pull up on this top fin and just pull that fin right out of there. Once I get that out, I'll clean that nugget meat right there. That's the belly right there. And then uh, take the head off, make a couple cuts right there Split the bottom, give it a twist right there. And then we just grab right there, that lower section there with the skinners, grab the liver and all that, and pull the liver and guts out of there. And that's it right there. You gotta be careful not to let these fins get you up here. These are probably the best eating catfish. See people on our comments all the time, they're saying, why you keep them fish that small or then the next guy say well, why you keeping those fish that big you know well we eat them that's why we keep them so that's that's about all i got to say about that look at there that's some pretty pretty catfish right there I'm gonna tell you, if you ain't had whole fry catfish, you've been missing out your whole life. So what we do, you got your ribs right in here. We're coming right over from them ribs and just making a cut all the way down to the backbone like that. Just open that up where that grease will get in there and uh, fry that meat up good. That's all we do on each one of them. Just put three little slits in it, just like that. All right, we're gonna fry up some of these whole fryers. We got about, well, we got six of them in there. Got the mustard. Put a little bit of mustard on them. Don't take a lot. Got the Uncle Chris's steak seasoning. It's good stuff on everything. We've been putting it on a lot of stuff. Stir them up. It's gonna help that meal stick. That's the only reason we really put that mustard on there. Got the garlic, got our cornmeal mix. That's just yellow cornmeal mix. What we use in all of our videos. And this is just Tony's. We just got it in one of them empty containers, but it's Tony's. So we buy it in the bulk. Stir that up good. We'll have our fingers in it anyway. Put them in there. Mill them up, give them a good coating inside and out. Just be sure to check your size restrictions in your state. Louisiana, we can keep uh, channel cats 11 inches long, I think it is, and uh, they can be, you can have some undersized, so perfectly legal and they, they fine eating. why they do that people out there fishing like this you know if that's all you catch like today we didn't catch no big fish um and to be honest about it these eat better than the big ones so you know if you don't catch a bunch of big fish whatever guess what you can still take a mess home at least in louisiana you can Over there.
got them fried up there. I'm gonna show y'all. There's some people said they ain't never eat no whole fryers. I'm gonna show y'all how to eat them. Look right there. That bottom fin right there, it just comes out. Got a lot of little bones right there. Got a little bit of meat around the edges. Get that. Got them fins right there. Now you got this part left. I'm gonna get them fins first. Take them off. Got the little catfish nuggets down there. Running through some ketchup. Good to go. Now you can see where I cut them slits in that hole fryer. You just run your fingers in there, look at there. Look at that meat coming off of there. All the way down to them ribs right there. You'll find them ribs in here, stay clear of that. Got all that meat coming off that backbone right there. Look at there. Tell y'all what, if you ain't never eat whole fryers, you better try them. The rest of you know what I'm talking about. All right. Proved right there that the catfish noodles work, the pool noodles. You got the video, if you hadn't seen the one where we made them, go back and look at them because we made them adjustable. That did come in play today because when we started putting them out, we put them from two to six foot. We found out the fish were three to four foot. We changed them all to that and then we caught a few more fish. Now in this video, we wasn't out there but maybe two hours um, catching these fish. We caught 10, um, so they do work. We went a little late, probably could have caught more if we went earlier, but that's all we needed for lunch. That's going to be it for this one, God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.